Welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We are at the Marquette County Fair inside one of the horse barns here on the fairgrounds. We're just taking a little walk through to show you some of the many horses that are here. They're all out for us here this morning as we take a look at what it takes to work with these horses and how to show them and all of the time and dedication that their owners go through. We have Juniper and Lily here talking with us. Juniper, first of all, uh, how old is your, your uh, horse and what is your horse's name? His name's Cowboy. Um, I forgot how old he is. He's like in his teens right okay. now. Um, and yeah. Okay. All right. And how about you, Lily? This is Ranger. He's 14 years old. And how long um, have you had him? I actually got him for my birthday last year, but I have been riding and playing with him since I was like, uh, since you were young, Nine yeah. Do you, was this your first miniature horse? Is this your first time working with one? Yeah. Yeah, what, and what do you love, love about it? Um, they just, they're fun to play with and they, <laughs> well. <laughs> it almost seems like you're kind of playing with him right now, like he's a big yellow lab or something. You're playing tug of war with a little rope or something. Treats for him in my pocket. Oh, that's right. that's, he can, smells them. Can he do tricks? Can you can you make yeah. him sit, or do horses not do that? Um, well, we want to train him to sit, but he can lay down and oh. bow right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's you okay. That's okay. It's Tia's fault for not wearing closed-toed shoes inside the barn. Yeah. Barn mm -hmm. lesson number one: no Burks. That's okay. All right, okay. Juniper. Okay, wait, look, look, when you first got your horse, how did you approach training him and, and, um, and what's been involved? At the time when I first got him, I was actually, I, I rode him when I first got him. And um, then, please stop. <laughs> then um, it was a lot of um, just working with him, making, like, making him just listen more friendly. Um, you can see we're still training. Yeah. <laughs> well, probably a lot of repetition, right? Just right. doing the same yeah. things over and over and then rewarding them? Yes. Yeah. What tricks um what tricks can he do? He can um he can join up with me, so if I take his lead off, um he will follow me. And um well, he's just really friendly um and he's learning how to bow currently. Is he a friend of yours? Do you consider him like your friend? Yeah. Yeah. I always say that I about feel like my I dog. He's my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> And when you decided to bring him into a show, what were, why did you want to do that? What are you so proud to show everyone with him? He's just an amazing horse. He's super sweet. Um, he loves attention. He loves showing off. So it's, he, it's, it's honestly because he just loves showing off and showing... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he wants the microphone. <laughs> showing, um, just showing off and showing people how awesome he is and... That this is your stuff. this is your time to shine there guy. Don't don't turn away from the camera. Yeah, this, okay, this is it. This is your Give moment. Give us that eye. He's got a pretty <laughs> eye. I like him. You know, for a lot of kids coming to the fair, it's it's fun. It's about going on the rides, it's about eating the food, but for the kids that, that participate in the animal shows, it's a lot of work. They're waking up before the sun even comes up. Sometimes 5:30, 6 o'clock in the morning to get their animals ready for shows. Lily, what kind of work goes in while you're at the fair and then leading up to the fair, what kind of work are you doing to to prepare to have the best show ever? Well, it's just kind of a lot of repetition, repetition of the same yeah. stuff. You just kind of keep, like for his laying down, we probably practice that a hundred times to get him to be able to do it. And we have to wake up early and stuff when we're here mm -hmm. for to clean their stalls. And I can imagine that, you know, sometimes in the summertime it might be really nice out. You might want to sleep in or maybe go to the beach with some friends, but you have the responsibility of, of taking care of this miniature horse, so I can imagine it, it teaches you a lot of lessons raising him. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. What, what have you learned from Juniper? Anything? Um... He is... Oh, you're Juniper. What have you learned from your horse, Juniper? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Oh, I just renamed your horse. <laughs> um, I've just learned that it's there's a lot of work that goes into just even just making them stand still. Like you can see, I'm still working on that with him. And he's very um, fussy. He likes to 
he fidgets. Um, <laughs> so you can see it's a lot of work just to have him stand still. And, and I learned just patience is, is a huge part of, of working with horses and working with animals. And, um, and it's, it's, it's even when, even when it's just cleaning the stall, you have to be patient. You have to let them move. You have to like, like it's not, it's, you're not the one in charge sometimes. I mean, you should be, but you want, you want them to be comfortable. And when, and when that means letting them move, move or, or fuss a little bit, that's sometimes what you need to do. And, um, yeah. Yeah. You have a great mindset when it comes to this. It's really so beautiful. True. Because at the end of the day, this is an animal and it is much bigger than you. And so sometimes you just have to respect that he or she wants to do his own thing and work around that. So there's so much, so much trust and respect that's involved in, in raising a horse. And the the thing is, is you hope that your your horse will respect you in the end of the day, because that's what really makes it so that you can, like, interact with him and and take them to shows. And you need the horse to respect you to to be able to do stuff like this. What do you do on the days thing. that you just don't want to <laughs> deal with your horse? How do you how do you get yourself up and going? It's it's. You know, you can't you can't be angry at the horse. The horse didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. And I've also been noticing that he's just kind of been flashing his teeth, giving some smiles. I'm really hoping that we can catch that on camera because I think when horses smile, it is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Let me see those teeth. teeth. Let me see those teeth. teeth. Oh, look at those teethers. Look at those teethers. All right, let's take a break. And I think when we get, come back, we're going to have you teach us a little bit about how to show a horse, how to work with a horse. I've never done anything like this. I want to see some tricks, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for tricks. All right, we'll be right back. 